Lord Trevelyan, uh, may I have a moment? Of course. Yes, Ambassador? I'd like to discuss your parents. Well, that was quick. A little sudden, but it's time someone made an honest man of me. What? Very amusing. This is serious. I'd like to dispatch a courier asking the bands of House Trevelyan to align themselves with us. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? I'm not in their good graces. With the Trevelyans, my presence may close more doors than it opens. My family and I are not on the best of terms. I'm sorry to hear that. I shall not press the matter, but others will. Valroyo has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? You are from Ostwick. Our legion nobles consider the free marches somewhat... quaint. Our independence puzzles them. Orlesians are just baffled free marchers governing themselves without an empress to hold their hands. A peasant might get away with that insult, but not someone of your stature. Uh, speaking of which, I should thank you for your patience with the simple quarters. The accommodations in Haven are surely rough for someone of your birth. How do you find it? This can't be what you're accustomed to, Ambassador. One adjusts. I stay busy. It helps take my mind from our surroundings. And the cold. And the wildlife. And the lack of civilization for miles around. <sighs> Why anyone lived here before we found Andras's ashes, I cannot imagine. I'm fine, thank you. Don't worry about me. Haven's more than livable. Really? If that is how you feel, I'm pleased to hear it. Until next time, my lord. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated dark spawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. What may I do for you? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? Commander Cullen came to mind. The commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagast is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevara, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. Oh, my friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. Let's speak later. Farewell.